my training method was never that intense. <laughs> the girl would ride the horse out, whatever, a couple of days before the class, and get on and do a couple of pops, and that, that was it. Mm -hmm. And the horse knew within a couple of days we're in business. Yeah, yeah. So we went to Tokyo, and we were there two weeks beforehand. Oh, so, okay. being a bit naive, I, think I rode out every day, gave him a pop every day because everybody else was jumping. Yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah. so come to Mexico, I thought, I ain't doing that one again. Yeah. So I managed to take a spare horse, okay. Beethoven blessed him. Ah. Right? And um, so we took Mr. S obviously Mr. Softy Joy's pick one, we took Beethoven, took it. My, gr my girl took Mr. Softy out every day and rode him, blah, 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 where I concentrated on. Beethoven to keep myself in the gear and everything. Yeah, yeah. And um, I always remember we had a, we, a week before the show jumpers, we had a, a, um, a practice competition in the walk, um, not by the stables, you know, everybody right. got together and blah, blah, blah. And uh, it was, if you remember, 7,000 feet. Yeah. I tell you, about three from the end, I couldn't breathe. Right. And Beethoven was so strong. I mean, the last two or three fences. I mean, he just took me, and I came out, managed to stop, and I just rolled off the horse. Uh -huh. So then I decided I had to get fit, didn't I? <laughs> so Harvey and I used to go running every morning, right. before breakfast, can you believe it? Is there a that? photo? Yeah, I, I mean, it's the only time in my life I've ever done it. Yeah, yeah. Harvey'd yeah. run a mile, and I'd run about three quarters of one. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. and then Mr. Softy, he did his bit, it was enormous. Yeah. And um, yeah, yeah. it was fantastic horse. And then you go with Beethoven to Labour yeah. for the Worlds. That's right. And I think I'm right in saying you remain the only British rider ever to win individual gold at the Worlds. Mm -hmm. And I remember watching some footage of that. The last jump was a water jump. That's right. And you jumped half a mile, didn't you, to get over that? I did. Well, uh, some horse. This, uh, you see, we're up. They've changed the format. Yeah. 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 But the last horse I had to, because it used to be four people into the final, yeah. and you rode each other's horse, right? Yeah. And the last horse I had to ride was, was Donald Rex, okay. Robin Shockley. Okay. The best trained animal you've ever sat on. The, the fingertip control. And he jumped three clears with everybody else. And I had two fences in hand, or one and one yeah, yeah. whatever. And I, I went in on him, and. Uh, I never pressed one of the buttons down to the second fence or third fence. Had it down. Bloody hell. This is no serious, you know what I mean? I've got to go clear. Yeah. Yeah. So I did a little bit. Yeah. Man handled him a little bit round and I kept to the water jump. The water jump was the last fence. Now, I would think Donald Rex has got the best water jumper in the world. Right. And I got a stripe. I came down and gave him a kick. He stood up and he went about six foot in the air and I thought, going over the top. The tape was down there, sort of thing. Yeah. And that was, yeah, that was it. Wow. Yeah. The wonderful folks. World champion, that must have been quite a feeling. Well, it was, uh, but that was. Well, yeah, that, that was the defining moment. Yeah. Yeah. You know, then after that, I'd done it. You, you of know, course. That, but that was the moment, you know, when I was going over that water jump. And of course, you went to Munich then in 72, yeah. which we all remember for all sorts of yeah. horrible reasons there. And I think you carried the flag. I uh, did. At, at, at Munich. Yeah, um, I did. I mean, that's uh, an honor that's not bestowed on too many, is it? I mean, it was uh, something yeah. else, you know. And it, yeah. I t I t they tell you you've got, to, you've got to carry the flag like this, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you remember, there was a heavyweight wrestler, a weight, weight, weightlifter on the Russian team. Right. And uh, it, it, he'd carried the flag a couple of, a couple of games, and he had the flag out there. Right. One handed. Right. Oh, so, I'll try that. Right. <laughs> now, let me tell you. Going down the one way in in the stadium. Right. With the wind, I don't know which way the wind was going, but it was absolutely fine. When you turn round to come the other way, it's like a bloody gale, wasn't it? <laughs> I, mean, I was glad that. You had no hands. practice lap, did you? <laughs> None. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Right. God, it was. It was. It was a wonderful occasion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, can imagine. I mean, I, I've spoken to, to, to you about this before, I remember, but, you know, in those days, this was a frontline sport on national television, wasn't it? I think we um, were second to football. Yeah, yeah. And you're always on that prime slot after the oh. news at nine o'clock or whatever. 
What was it like in those days? I mean, they were real, they were Halloween days, weren't they, really? They were wonderful, and we thought it would last forever, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. You know, and um, I think we allowed somehow or the other, we, I, I mean, I was as guilty as anybody. Yeah. But it, it, where, where, where we were farmers and builders' sons and daughters, taking up the sport from the hunting field or whatever, now we, we've plugged it to the... The wealthy people of the world yeah. sport for their children. Sure. You know, no, obviously that had their, their, their money as a big influence on the way the things yeah. progress, really. Yeah. And what about the horses? Are the horses different? The, the horse. Or have the, you acquired the horses, maybe? Yeah, I, I mean, there's a lot more bred these days. The yeah. breedings are a lot more confident. I mean, Belgium, France, Holland, Germany. But we're doing a lot more breeding in this country too, to be fair. There are a lot more horses jumping now than what they used to. But having said that, I don't think they're jumping as high mm. as we did. And I don't think there's the absolute superstars that you can remember now, 60 years ago. Mm. It's probably right, actually. Yeah. You know, they don't last as long. No. No, and not just British either, I mean, your Shocker Molars, yeah, absolutely. your Eddie Mackins, those yeah. guys, you know. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. And are you sat here now, I mean, how would you sum up where the sport is at the moment? Are you are you content with where it is, or would you like to see some changes? Or I'd like, I think, my big whinge at the moment is that the, the jumps have gone it's too too light and too finicky. Okay. There's nothing there to check that, that challenges the, the bravery of a horse. Right. A couple of big bushes there, and some the horse looks and you know, bling, bling and heck, you know, this has got to be jumped. Now, those days have gone. Like the good old Irish horse, who would, his heart was enormous. The old hunter, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah you yeah, know, yeah. he would always take everything on. Yeah. I mean, and I don't think the jumps are as high as they used to be. A bit more awkward, maybe. Yeah. Distances have come in. Yeah. And they call it technique. Yeah. Is it perhaps too technical? Maybe I don't know. Or is it? Well, is it, that the it, way they have to go now? I don't know. They they've gone that way because at one point in I think the '76 Olympics in Montreal they were just too damn big. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, so so they had to change the pattern. Yeah. You know, like the water jump we jumped at the Olympics was 16 foot four. Now they talk about a big water jump now. When you see one, you don't yeah. see one very often, 13 foot. Yeah. Well, you stick that much on the end of it, yeah. that's Probably. a damn big water jump. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and, and the riders don't want the water jump anymore. Um, never let the riders dictate the rules to you, because it, it, it doesn't always work out. Yeah. And when you look back on it all, I mean, all those years ago when you were starting off, you'd, you'd be pretty happy with it all, wouldn't you? Well, it's what it's what we knew, what we did. Yeah. And if we did well, we got fish and chips on the way home. <laughs> Can't afford them, that. <laughs>